We live in interesting times. <laughs> and regardless of where you land politically, it's almost impossible at this point to realize how, realize and recognize and acknowledge how divided we are. And I think in some ways that's the great blessing of this time. I do a lot of work in schools. Many of us, we, we cover the gamut of places that we perform. And often when I'm in schools, young students, particularly elementary or middle school students, will often say at the end of a program about slavery or civil rights, how far do you think we've come? I always find it interesting, first of all, that kids are asking that. But they ask honestly because they're recognizing that there was this horrible thing called slavery or that women were mistreated or Native Americans pushed onto reservations. And, and they want to know, you know, how much progress do you think, you old person? <laughs> how much progress do you think we've made? And I always try to give a nuanced answer because you don't want to deny the progress that we've made. At the same time, you know that under that progress there is a bedrock of misinformation and issues that we simply as a country have not been able to take on, and they are many. Music allows us in many ways to get at all this and to, as artists, bring things to the surface, but, you know, what is the quote that you used this morning, Greg? It's from Upton Sinclair, and after we read this, we can just go home, yeah, because this much. is everything. Yeah. So it's very difficult to get someone to understand it when their salary requires that they don't. Very difficult to get someone to understand something when their salary requires that they don't. And I think in that phrase, salary can be translated in a lot of different ways. So one of the reasons that we all love being part of Phil Oak's Song Nights is because Phil not only took on the issues, but he exposed that rift in our nation that we have avoided discussing. And he did, exposed it from many directions. And it really is often what we try to do in our music. So as we stand on stage together, we bring a lot of different perspectives, different backgrounds, in the same way that you represent the same. And so it is that as we see in our own time as it has grown, the dissension and the ugliness rises to expose that which we have not acknowledged. And I think that's a good thing. What we do with it is up to us.